daw yung pang MOBA 0.981495 Hello world! Welcome to the Statistic where we explore the exciting world of statistics using the Casio FX991 ES Plus. I'm presently at your host. So today, we've got computer engineering students ready to showcase some calculator techniques that work seamlessly whether you're using the first or second edition. Let's dive in! Hello world, I'm EJ, your stat geek extraordinaire. Today, I'll show you how to conquer mean with style on your Casio FX9 and one ES Plus. So, on your calculator, first, you should press mode, then stat, then one var. Then, then this table will show, and you will input all your data here. For example, 5, 3, 6, 8, and 9. After you have input all your data, press on. Then, click again shift and want to go to start menu. Then press 4. Then press this number 2. So you'll get the mean of the data. After you have input that, click that. Press equal button to compute the mean. And you will get the mean now. For your example problem, Suppose you are analyzing the performance of a searching algorithm in a computer program. The algorithm is executed at on a set of inputs, and you measure the execution time in milliseconds for each run. The executed the execution times for five ex consecutive runs are as follows: 12, 15, 18, 10, and 14 milliseconds. Calculate the mean or average execution time of the searching algorithm based on these measurements. Round your answer to the two decimal places. By rounding it, we will get, we will get 13.8 milliseconds. Hello world again, Presilet, your calculation maestro. For this session, we'll unravel the secret of standard deviation. So, let's consider a scenario. Imagine we have a data set representing the ages of five individuals, si Tom na 23, Si Eunice na 18, si EJ na 35, si Janelle na 42, and si Tristan na 30 years old. With these data, we want to find the standard deviation of their ages. So, get your calculators. Step 1 will be entering data. So, in your calculator, you can also follow the calculator right beside me. So, press mode. Navigate to statistic by selecting 3. Choose 1. 1 for one bar or one variable statistic. Step two will be inputting data. Now, let's key in our data set. 23, 18, 35, 42, and 30. Once you've entered the last number, which is 30, press AC. Step three will be assessing statistical calculations. It's time to access the Statistical Calculations menu. So, press Shift. Press Shift. Navigate to the Statistic menu by choosing 1. Select 4. Then, Step 4 will be selecting Standard Deviation. So, after the last step, a menu will appear with options such as Standard Deviation and Mean. So, select 3. Then, finally, press Enter. So, yan. And that's it. You've got the final answer, which is 9.5. You've just learned the art of finding standard deviation using your calculation. Okay, let's go through this step together with the given ages. So, input the data, access the stati statistical menu, choose standard deviation, and press enter. This skill will prove invaluable as we, co as we continue our statistical journey. Hello world, I'm Inis and I will be teaching you how to solve linear regression and coefficient correlation. This method is used in engineering to determine the relationship between two properties. So for our uh, example, the first thing we have to do is to go to stat mode. Stat mode. And choose the A plus BX since that is the regression mode. We now have to put our given 
x and y values in the table. Pressing the equal sign to add each one. So 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, and 40. For our y values, 1.6, 1.7, 2.5, 3.2 and 3.5 After adding all the values, press AC To find the values of A and B, we'll go to Shift 1 and press the reg since A and B are regression values To find A, press 1 and the equal sign So we have a value of negative 4.6 for A Repeat the process to get the value of B, which is 2. B is 0 0.204. So we have the regression equation of negative 4.6 plus 0.204x. To find the uh, correlation coefficient, repeat the process. Shift, stat, and reg. And press 3 which is r and press equals our correlation coefficient is equal to 0 0.9 0 0.98 and that means we have a very good correlation hello world i'm Daniel, your data dj here to spin some tombs with normal distribution Forget the dance floor for hitting the data floor. Get ready for a statistical party in Casio style. First, make sure your calculator is in stat mode. Press mode and then stat which is number 3. And do not here, do not pick anything and just press AC to exit. Now you can see your calculator is in stat mode. Now, press shift and 1 for stat. And now we are going to pick number 5 which is distribution and here we are go we can use three items that we, we are going to use based on your problem. Use number 1 when finding the probability of say score less than the x value as shown on the screen. Use number 2 Q when finding the probability of 0 less than say score but less than x value or the middle shaded part as I shown on the screen. Use 3 are when finding the probability of say score greater than x, x value as or as I shown on the screen. Suppose our example here, we have three problems. In the first problem, we can see that the diagram is shaded to the left with a value of x which is 1.96. Now, following our instructions before, choose P and input the value of x which is 1.96 and close it with the parenthesis and now, we are going to get our answer which is 0 0.975. Next to the second problem, we can see that the diagram is shaded on the middle of 0 and x with the value of x which is 196. Now following the extraction again before, now choose Q and input 196 and close with parentheses and now we get the answer which is 0 0.475. Lastly, on our last problem, we can see that the diagram is shaded to the left with the value of x which is 196 again. Now, following our instruction against before, choose r number 3 and input the value of x which is 196 and yet we will, now we will get the answer which is 0 0.024998. Hello world, I'm Tom Jan, the Range Rover, guiding you through the scenic roads of Ray of your Casio FX-991 ES+. Plus. Buckle up, we're about to embark on a statistical adventure. First, get your calculator 911 ES+. Plus. Press mode, then click stats, then one var, and input all the numerical value. The value is 75, 45, 32 7 52 88 12 46 and 77 If you input all the numerical value, press AC Then shift 1 Click the minimum 
Number 6 or mini maximum. Oh, sorry, mali na pinda. Shift 1, shift 1 ulit, then click 6. For getting minimum value is press 1, then press equal. The minimum value is 7. Then next is you get the maximum, just shift 1 ulit, then press 6. Number 2 or maximum, then press, e press equal, then the value of maximum is 88. To get the range, go to comp computation, computation, the maximum value to get the range is maximum minus minimum the maximum value is 88 then the minimum value is 7 then press equal the range of all numerical value is 81 hello world i'm tristan the probability prodigy ready to show you how to concur poisson distribution on your casio fx 991 es plus let's go Let's turn on your calculator, then shift to get this equation, then shift, equation, fraction, and then alpha x to get the x, then shift factorial inside with parentheses, and then the power and inside let's put uh, Euler's and then raise it in a negative put another parenthesis inside and that's it this is your uh, formula uh, here is an example of problem set uh, Poisson distribution the, the Dagupan clothing store we can see that the experiment of observing the three customers each making a purchase decision has eight possible outcomes. Using S to denote success, a purchase, and F to denote a failure, no purchase. We are interested in experimental outcomes involving two success in three trials. In this, is this a binomial experiment? We note that. First, the experiment can be described as a sequence of three. Uh, we will put three inside the parentheses. Three identical trials. One trial for each of the three customers who will enter the store. And uh, three for the X. Let's put the three as the three customers. And, and there we go, we have the uh, value, okay? Then next one, two, cost, uh, two outcomes, the customers make a purchase success or the customer does not make a purchase failure are possible for the trial. So let's change uh, the value of x as 2. Uh, because uh, it represents it, it represents the two outcomes. Let's place three on top. Summation of three trials, and that is the value. Salutations, hypothesis heroes. I'm Ronjon E. Felix, your guide through the thrilling realm of T test and Z test on your Casio FX nine nine one ES Plus. It's like being a detective in world of data mysteries. Grab your calculators, we're about to crack that case. So first, using the calculator, press mode, and then choose number 3, and press the AC button, and then shift 1, and select the number 5. And now let's put an example, like number one. We put a negative 6.12, then close parenthesis, and it, there you have it. You already have an answer. And there you have it, awesome. It's statistic with our smart engineering students was like a tech party.
big shout out to our amazing guest for making stats cool. If you like the like don't, don't just watch why you like, subscribe, subscribe, and ring that bell for more cool stuff. Until, Until next time, keep playing numbers. Stay cool and may your data always be as neat as my latest software update. See you later. Goodbye, world.